am Jennifer and I'm so happy you're here. One of my YouTube friends, Byron Chandler, requested that I make a caramel corn recipe. Well, here it is, Byron. What a great suggestion. I'll have Byron's channel link below. I have all of my ingredients here ready to go. A big pan with two sticks of butter. I have caro syrup, brown sugar, sweetened condensed milk, salt, vanilla. I have a candy thermometer, but that isn't necessary. And I also have some popcorn all popped and ready to put this wonderful recipe together. I also have a wooden spoon. A wooden spoon is the very best thing to use for this recipe. We're gonna start off by adding our butter and then we're gonna add our brown sugar and we're gonna add in our corn syrup. One cup of corn syrup, one cup of brown sugar and two sticks of butter. A helpful tip, before measuring out your corn syrup, spray your mixing cup with some cooking spray. That way the corn syrup will pour out easily. We are gonna bring this mixture to a boil. Now that our mixture is at a boil, we're gonna pour in our 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Our sweetened condensed milk is in and now we're gonna stir this and continue boiling for four to five minutes. We're gonna let this boil till it gets to the soft ball stage. Right here it says on my candy thermometer, soft ball stage, and we want our caramel syrup to be at 235 degrees. Our candy thermometer is reading 235 degrees. We'll set this aside, and now it's time to turn off the heat. And we're gonna add in our salt and our vanilla. Now be very, very careful. This is going to be super, super hot. I have my bowls of popcorn here and we're going to take our wonderful caramel syrup and we're going to pour it right over the top of our popcorn. I have a couple of different bowls here. It's easier to pour it and mix it in if you don't have it completely full in the bowl. Just start stirring and mixing. I do a little bit and then I add a little bit more and mix quickly. You want to get it all stirred up really well before everything sets up. After you get it stirred in, you can quickly add some nuts, a pecans, walnuts, candies, anything else you would like to add at that time. Make sure you toss it nice and lightly because you don't want to crumble up all of your popcorn. You want nice big fluffy pieces. Once you get it on the baking sheet, just spread it out nice and thin. This caramel corn turned out absolutely wonderful. I'll be serving this at game night when my friends come over. I'm sure they'll all enjoy it. Thanks again, Byron Chandler, for the suggestion of making a wonderful caramel corn recipe. I'm so happy you are all here. I appreciate it so much, and I would be so happy if you hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.